All right, Shalom, Brother Ra, coming to you another video. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who were well. And a double Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those in the hopeful elect. All right, trust and fearing, having faith in Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, the title of this lesson is called The Lord is Making His Rounds. And what I mean by that is... What I mean by that is the Lord is bringing judgment across the four corners of the earth and is, is being brought swiftly. You know, you know, people are involving themselves in all types of madness while the Lord is, is doing exactly you know, what he pleases to do. Now, when you read Zephaniah chapter three, verse five, it says the just Lord is in the midst thereof. See, the Lord is everywhere. He's in the midst thereof. Okay? He will not do iniquity, which iniquity is sin upon sin. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is perfect. Okay? It says, Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light. He felleth not. So the Lord is bringing forth judgment in many ways. All right? Whether it's death, gruesome injuries, plagues, you know, the Lord is bringing plagues, homelessness, poverty. You got people keep getting kicked out of their cribs as we speak, man. Okay? You got people who are being targeted for all types of uh, uh, heinous crimes. This is the Lord bringing forth judgment every morning. It says, and he felleth not. It says, but the unjust knoweth no shame. See, the unjust don't know any shame. Now, the scriptures say, evil men understanding not judgment. So all these different things that the Lord is showcasing, you know, his power and what he can do to you, the unjust don't know any shame. They, they don't even um, have any shame in what they're doing. And they also cannot, cannot grasp what's taking place here, man. Okay. Let me pull that scripture out because I quoted it and I just wanted to um, touch on that because it's very important you know, that we continue to understand what's taking place here because that that, help, that that encourages a healthy dose of fear. When you read Proverbs chapter 28, verse 5, it says, evil men understand if not judgment. See, that also goes back to fear. And I'm going to prove that too. It says, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. So those that are seeking how about you, man, you clearly understand what's happening here. You clearly understand that the Lord is making his rounds and for those of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, those that are not seeking the Lord, you're going to get caught up in the destruction, the judgment that the Lord is bringing forth. Okay? And those that are righteous understand those things, man, because they have a healthy dose of fear and they're seeking out by Shemiah and Shai. Okay? But, but evil, the evil man don't get it. The evil, evil, you evil Israelites, you wicked ones that's continuing to worship these, uh, you know, um, idols, you know, into celebrating heathen customs, you know, still celebrating pagan holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving. New Year's going to come around. Jake going to be turning up for that or they're going to at least try to. All right. This is just an example how wicked our people are and they have no intentions, majority of our people, on repenting. So they don't get what's going to take place or happen. They don't understand the repercussions of that, man. All right. Um, when you read... The book of Job 28. Alright. Book of Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it reads, bear with me here. It says, And unto the man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So if you fear Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, you have a discernment. You know, you have the a sense of understanding of to know what's taking place here. Okay, now the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be, the, shall be the stability of thy times. All right, and fear is his treasure. So fear in the Lord, that is wisdom. All right, and that's the beginning of understanding, of knowledge and understanding. It says, and to depart from evil is understanding. So when you depart from evil and you see that, look, if I hang up this Christmas tree or I put up this Christmas tree and I put ornaments, the Lord will destroy my ass, man. If you have that mindset and you depart from evil and you stop eating abominable foods, shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, catfish, liver, all these are abominable foods, you know, and you have a healthy dose of fear and you depart from those things, you clearly have an understanding. 
that what's taking place here, what's at stake here, man. But a lot of our people don't get it. So when the Lord's making his rounds, you know, he's he's connecting, man, with every rebellious Israelite that he pleases to connect with, man, meaning he's putting them to death. All right. Um, next scripture I want to bring out here. Like I said, a lot of people I know or I, um, that, that I've grown uh, grew up with in the world, a lot of them are dying. I mean, you're hearing stories left and right about these people. I'm getting calls left and right. Such and such died from a car accident. Such and such got shot in the face. Such and such, he's in prison. You know, oh, what's his name? Got his arm cut off. You know, this, these are things that's happening, man. And when you read Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. So the Lord's killing a lot of people. The Lord is actually, um, you know, sending different, you know, plagues upon our people and is destroying them in many different ways. Okay. That's the Lord doing that, man. Okay. Now, if he wants to keep you alive, which, you know, through all these things, you're going to see the hopeful elect remaining alive. Now, there's going to be some martyrs for the truth. But then those that are actually, um, that's going to be martyrs for the truth, man, they're actually going to get everlasting life. So you live either way, okay? And, and, and those same martyrs are going to, the Lord's going to give them that spirit, man, to endure. But the point is, the Lord is going to control all these things that's going on. He controls all this, man, whether you live or whether you die. And now it reads on, it says, I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, okay? So a lot of people are getting wounded. A lot of people are being um you know, get, catching all types of diseases, you know, uh, incurable diseases. People are getting their limbs cut off, you know. So that's the Lord wounding them. It says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So when the Lord brings forth judgment, he fails not. When he wants to take you out and he wants to bring judgment upon you, it's a wrap for you. And there's no escaping it, man. All right. And I'm a, oh, man, I got so many scriptures popping in my head now, but um, I want to bring out the scripture here, and I'm going to jump to another one. When you read 1 Samuel, okay, 1 Samuel 1 and uh, 2 and 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So the Lord kills, he makes alive. We just read that again in Deuteronomy 32 and 39, you know. But then also he can, you know, bring you down to grave-like condition, condition, man. You know, bring you down to the pits, man. To a hell-like condition where, you know, you're at the bottom of society and you are, you're going through it. He can bring you through it. But then also he can lift you up. He can change your life at a, you know, a snap of a finger. Okay? And, and that's many examples of that. People have been at the bottom of society, been poured down and out. You know, sharing a one-bedroom apartment. You know, the, the utilities are all off. They couldn't, you know, turned off. People couldn't afford to pay the, you know, the monthly utilities. And all of a sudden, they hit the lottery and their whole life changes. You know, true story, man. But that's the Lord doing that, okay? Now, for the ones of our people, you know, who've been indulging in their wickedness for years, man, time is up for that. You've been slanging dope for years, killing your own people, you know, um, doing all types of madness and witchcraft gang banging you got a few bodies on your record that 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 esau hadn't found out about but the lord knows that man all right when you read ecclesiastes 8 and 11 it says because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil so it's in the hearts hey man this goes for anybody that's been doing wickedness for years you know Esau, he's been doing his wickedness for years. All right, he he uh, oppressed us for years, and he did all types of uh, wicked crimes, and he thinks he's going to get away with it. But the Lord, it's going to say, my, the, the Lord's eyes is upon the sinful kingdom, you know, and I will destroy off the face of the earth, as as I'm roughly paraphrasing. Okay, and then you got the majority of our people who were wicked, man, you know, into sodomy. A man with a man or a woman with a woman. That's wicked, man. You know, stealing, corrupt. You know, you name it, man. 
Jake is into all types of madness, man. But, but the Lord said it's in the hearts of them to, to, to uh, continue to do those things because the Lord hadn't brought judgment upon them yet. Verse 12, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. And the only ones that can sin are the Israelites. So you got a lot of our people who are going after the ways of their oppressor because our oppressor, he's wicked, man. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. So our people continue to do wickedness and then they think they can get away with it and they don't fear the Lord. Now all of a sudden the Lord um, brings death upon them. That's what's taking place in these times, man. All right, the Lord is making his rounds. Okay, but the Lord said what? It shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. And we just read Job 28 and 28. All right, uh, to depart from evil, that is understanding. And when you fear the Lord, that's wisdom. And you're going to know to eschew evil, meaning to stay away from evil. Okay, and the Lord, and that shows you get, that you have the understanding. And the Lord is going to, um, he's going to keep you alive. Because when you read, I believe, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 33 and 1, it says, There shall no evil happen unto him that fear the Lord. Okay. Now, jumping down to verse 13, it says, But it shall not be well with the wicked. Esau, Edom, the Edomites, they are the wicked. Malachi 1 and 4. But then you have the other heathen nations. And you got two-thirds of the nation of Israel who have a heathen state of mind. So it ain't going to go well with them. Okay? It ain't going to go well with those who are being wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days which are as a shadow because he feareth not before the most high. So the Lord is making his rounds and you see seeing Jake getting their heads taken off left and right, man. The scriptures say don't pray for these people, man. You know, they were burning incense unto Jesus Christ, you know, bowing down and um, praying to Allah. They were doing all types of wickedness into Buddha. They sold their soul for Balfamet, you know. So don't pray for these people, man. They deserve what they're getting. We, we are stepping back. We're going to continue to fear the Lord, Lord willing. We pray we endure to the end of hopeful elect because it's going down, man. Hebrews 10 and 30, and I'm going to close out. But we know him that have said, vengeance belong unto me. Now, because the sentence against an evil is executed speedily, it's in the hearts of men um, to, to be evil, man, right? But the Lord also said, vengeance belong unto him. <clears throat> so if you are committing wicked acts, you are an enemy to Yahweh Bashem Shai. And we know vengeance belong unto him. He gonna pay you back. It says, I will recompense. See, <laughs> that's the spirit. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Now, who's the Lord's people? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So the Lord's gonna begin at his house, those that know they're Israelites. But then also too, man, um, he ain't letting up on you two thirds either, man. So you're going to see an increase of more death, an increase of earthquakes, an increase of tornadoes, an increase of more diseases, homelessness, poverty, increase of uh, plagues of the mind, you know, more chariot sightings, okay, murders, all types of things down the pipeline, man. Verse 31, it says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So it's a fearful thing, man. And we're that's why we encourage, matter of fact, um, we we um do the power and spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, we always go back to fear. Because when you fear the Lord, that's that it opens the windows to many righteous benefits, man. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.